Hey everyone, let's solve another lead code problem today. The problem that we are going to discuss today is merge two sorted lists. Let's look at the examples given in the problem. We have two lists and the output after merging these two lists in a sorted order is this one. And there are two other examples as well. In example two, both the lists are empty will simply return empty output in this case. Then we have another example where one of the lists is empty. In such a case, we would return the non-empty list. Let's see how to solve this problem. Let's take the first example. We have list one and list two. Uh, let's take a dummy node with the value zero and let's have two pointers, one dummy node and the other one node. Now let's compare the first two values in list 1 and list 2. What are the values of the first two nodes? First one is 1 and the second is also 1. In this case, both the nodes have same values. So we'll add the uh, node from list 1 to our dummy list. And then we'll update the node to point the latest node which is 1. Now, as we already added this node to uh, the dummy node from list 1 will move the pointer to the second node in list 1. The pointer in this, uh, list 2 will still point to the node 1. Now comparing 1 and 2, which one is smaller? The one in the list 2, right? So let's add that node to our dummy list and update the node to point to our latest node. Now as we added the node from list 2, let's move the pointer to the next node in list 2. Now let's compare 2 and 3. Which one is smaller? The one in the list 1, which is node with value 2. So let's add that node to our dummy list and update the node pointer. Now moving the pointer in list 1 to the next node, we have the value 4 and we have the value 3 in list 2. Which one is smaller? the node with value 3. Let's add it to our dummy list and update the node pointer. Let's move the pointer in list 2 to the next node. Now we have values 4 and 4. So let's take the value from or the node from the list 1 and add it to our dummy list and update the pointer. Now since we added the node 4, let's move the pointer to the next node which is after 4. Now we don't have any more nodes left in the list one. So the pointer would point to null. What do we do in such a case? We would simply add all the remaining nodes from list two. So what are the remaining nodes in list two? It's the node four. So let's add it to our dummy list and update the node pointer. Now even the list two would point to null. So we will stop this process and as we have a dummy node 0, which is not required in our result, we'll simply return dummy node dot next as our output. So let's code. So this is an easy question from lead code and I'll be coding in C sharp. Let's try to add base conditions first. Looking at the examples, what did we understand? If any of the list is empty, we would simply return the other list. So let's add the condition here. If list one is null, return list two. And same is the case with list two as well. If list two is null, then we'll simply return list one. Even if both of the lists are empty, we would return one of the lists, which is an empty list. Now, in this case, uh, where we have uh, data for both the lists, what do we do? We'll uh, iterate over each and every node until any of these uh, nodes point to null. So we'll have a while loop here. If list one not equals null and list two not equals null, only then we would uh, continue with the logic. We will compare the values from list 1 and list 2. Before writing our logic, what do we need? We need a dummy node. So let me create one. 
list node dummy equals new list node. Then I'll create another pointer which says node and I'll assign it to the same dummy node. Now let's try to compare the values. If list one dot val so we have uh, two properties for every node val and next val would give us this value and next would point to the next node so if list one dot val is either less than or equal to the list two dot val then what do we do we'll simply add this node to our dummy list so we are making use of the pointer node to keep track of the current node. So I'll simply say node.next equals list1. Then we'll update the pointer of list1. So list1 equals list1.next. If this is not true, that means value of list2 is less. So in that case, we'll simply say node.next equals list2. Then we'll update the pointer in list2. So list2 equals list2.next. And in either of this case, we need to update the node, right? So node equals node.next. So this loop will run until either of these lists is null. Uh, for example, as we have seen in the first case, so the pointer came to null in list 1. Then we simply added the remaining nodes from list 2 to our dummy list. So let's do that here. If list 1 is null, then we'll add the remaining nodes of list 2 to node. So node.next equals list2 or if list2 is null then we'll add node.next equals list1. Finally we'll return dummy.next because we do not want the initial node. Let's try to run this problem. The name list does not exist. Okay, so this is list two dot next. Let me run it again. All test cases are passed. Let me just submit it. And the solution is accepted. Coming to the time complexity, we will be looping through each and every node from both the lists. So if uh, let's say the length of the list 1 is n and the length of list 2 is m, the time complexity is going to be big O of n plus m. Coming to the space complexity, we are just creating few pointers which would occupy a constant space. So the space complexity is going to be big O of 1. I hope the solution is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.